Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for February 1st to 7th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And guys, if you'd like a person to be with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So my beautiful darlings, I'm sorry for any delays that I've had lately. I just moved, so I moved locations and it is very difficult when you're waiting on movers to move your stuff. So that's why my delays, but I'm back on schedule again. So you will have your monthlies tomorrow. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. We're going to do the day to day, your love, interest, feelings, the box, please, and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And then we're going to have two clarifier decks here besides the main deck. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's set up my Aquarius's romantic love life for February 1st to 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that's deck one. What's going to have my Aquarius's romantic love life for February 1st to 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that's deck two. What's going to have my Aquarius's romantic love life? For February 1st to 7th, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's deck three. So let's leave that aside for a second here, Aquarius. And let's see what's going on with the bottom of the deck first of all. All right, so it looks like whatever you were going through, this hurt and pain, this, type, this tough cycle is about to end for you guys because we got the Ten of Swords energy going on here. And it looks like possibly uh, someone may have been dishonest with you may have not told you the truth and it's it's given you a sense of confusion here and so now the waiting is over here um, when it comes to these uh, this uh, you know toxic energy okay so let's keep going here so we see for the page of cups we have the page of swords we have the four of cups we have the eight of pentacles we have the ten of wands we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Wands. So this is the day today. So February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. And then this is the Love Interest Feelings. Wow, nice card. Two of Cups, Sun card energy, Nine of Cups. And this is the blockage. And this is the overall outcome. Nice Lover's card. Well, let me just clarify that. Okay. Okay. You're definitely breaking someone's heart this week. Okay. All right. Um, so we can see the blockage being the six of cups. And by the way, guys, you can check your moon, your rising and your sun sign for more information because your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions and your rising sign represents your physical you. And all three of those make up who you are. So you can feel free to cross watch. So someone from the past memories of the past, is coming up as the blockage here. So that's interesting. Healing from the past, possibly for some of you, because six talks about healing, recovery, and love. So, so it looks like on February 1st, there's a message coming in for you guys, and it's a love message. It's good news. And we see that uh, February 2nd, it looks like you guys are going to look at things from a whole new perspective in your situation. You may have a sense that somebody is coming in a little bit immature with the Page of Swords energy, or you're just having a new sense of new ideas and new perspectives about your romantic love life. I feel like um, there is concern about missing an opportunity here with the Four of Cups energy, or there's uncertainty of whether or not you want to take this love offer, because if I mirror that, the cup coming from here, with the Page of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, let me see if there's any other signs here. Yeah, so there's this good news and love, but it's like <clears throat> you're kind of feeling like this person's kind of a little bit different from your usual type and expectations. Or for some of you, they may be a little bit younger or immature in, in their acting. And so you're kind of like, do I really want this situation? Okay. So we see doll card energy, store card energy, and snake card energy. Yeah. There is a, a person that's being very friendly and there's improvements happening, but on the same token, you're kind of like, Mm, do I really desire this? You know, that's snake card energy where there's a sense of a lack of flexibility or some challenges around it that you're kind of thinking about. And you're like, do I really want to put the work or effort? Does this really fulfill my desires here? 
Yep, here we go. You're going to receive communication. So they're going to reach out and communicate with you. There's improvements here, and it does make you happy with the Ten of Cups energy, but you're kind of like questioning, like, is this really the best decision for me? You know, am I going to make the best decision for me when it comes to my past experience in dealing with the people that I've dealt with before? <clears throat> So we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. For some of you on the fourth, you may be really work focused or school focused here or just focused on other things. Or the Eight of Pentacles could be saying for some of you, I really wanna put the worker effort into this situation when it comes to this opportunity. So for some of you by the fourth, you're kind of like, okay, maybe, maybe I could put the worker effort into this opportunity. But I'm concerned that, you know, I don't know if they're being deceptive or something seems dishonest or something seems off about the situation. So we see by the fifth, you guys are kind of like, all right, this is kind of weighing heavy on me. I have responsibilities. I have things I have to deal with here and I'm ready to have a completion around this. And you're, you're stressing a bit here on the fifth about this opportunity. So it seems to me like you've decided to go, go with it, but then on the same token, you keep questioning yourself, is it going to be the best opportunity? And it kind of weighs heavy in your mind about it. So, but then by the sixth, you're like, all right, you know what? I'm going to invest time in this connection. I'm going to give it some time and see how things play out here. Because of emotion. Some of you are questioning the connection because you're concerned that money and finance could be part of the reason why for some of you because eight of pentacles maybe some of you are concerned that this person may be trying to use you for money okay or other of you are concerned because you may work or go to school with this person and for others of you you're kind of like how do i feel about this emotionally <clears throat> and you know for some of you you're still dealing with issues from the past because we see the reconciliation card. Now this person could be somebody you've already known before with the reconciliation card, but I feel like for most of you it's not. It's it's a, just a defensive energy because of the fact that you're still healing from issues that you've dealt with before in the past. So we see that the defensive energy is coming up and we also see, remember the blockage is the Six of Cups. So someone from the past is part of the blockage. And I feel like for most of you, this is a new situation, okay? And uh, I feel like you're kind of like, I don't know about this opportunity because of what I've dealt with before, because we see reconciliation, not certain about dishonesty and feeling completely happy with it. But some of you, this could be somebody you've dealt with before. So we see defensive energy in this commitment. Yeah, defensiveness about this commitment. All right, so going further on this Aquarius, there's this text message, letter and document, really makes you happy, but then you're questioning the wisdom of it. You're like, are they being honest with me? Is there something wrong with this situation? There's an opportunity here to reconcile a commitment for some of you. <clears throat> okay. Okay, loyalty, friendliness, and some changes, but lack of flexibility or strong desires for shortage and opportunities causing stress. There's a lot of emotions in this commitment or money commitment or uh, a, a lot of movement in this commitment. Okay, receiving a message of love, gaining new perspective, not certain if you wanna take the offer and putting the work or effort in it, weighing heavy on you, feeling like you're having a lot of burden and responsibility, going to wait to see how things are gonna play out here with Seven of Pentacles energy and defensive here about getting hurt. Okay, so let's take a look at your love interest feelings. Okay, they obviously want a relationship with you. You really make them happy and you're everything that they desire with the Nine of Cups energy. The clouds card energy, the coffin card energy. So they want to end the confusion here and they want a decision from you. It looks like there is an ex-partner and new love and a relationship. So I feel like they, they have concerns because they feel like there is someone else involved with the situation, but they really love you or they are trying to end the confusion with, when it comes to this other person that they've been dealing with and they want to focus on happiness and love with you and they want a relationship because you fulfill their desires. <clears throat> okay, let's get going here. Let's get drilled down a little bit further on the situation pertaining to the past. We got the Six of Cups energy. We got the house 
card and we got very soon. So house could be talking about a stable situation close to home and someone from the past and a decision you're going to have to make about it or memories of the past. But this decision needs to be made because there's something stable coming in here with the, four, uh, the house card energy. Or for some of you, you're reconciling with someone from the past and you're trying to decide, is it really the best move for me? <clears throat> so let's go with the overall outcome now. So it looks like someone has really thought about things very deeply. And it looks like there is a relationship here coming in. Lovers, twin flame soulmate connection. But there is stress about it. And if I looked up what the stress was, I clarified what the stress was. Should I take a risk on this situation? I need to use my logic here because I'm heartbroken. I don't want to be broken hearted. Three of Swords energy. So let's clarify even further here. We have the moon card energy, we have the fox card energy, we have the birds card energy. <clears throat> so definitely someone has thought about things when it comes to you in romance. But you're concerned about deceptions when it comes to this relationship. And so it looks like a heart to heart conversation is going to take place because of this anxiety and worry about this trapped energy. So we see family, long-term commitment, a lot of chemistry and passion, okay, and some delays here. So the concern is, is this person being honest with me? Are they going to be, you know, straightforward in being committed here? Because we see that the sexual union card is there, which could cause some challenges when it comes to family and long-term commitment. And there's a little bit of stress because it looks like some of you may have dealt with this person before and you're having concerns or maybe you've dealt with a situation before in the past where somebody wasn't fully committed. So it looks like you're going to have a hard-to-heart conversations about these stresses and these delays and challenges. But it does look like there is chemistry here, but on the same token, you're kind of like, are they being honest with me when it comes to this romance? I really need to think about this here. Okay, going further. I'm gonna be patient here because I need to make a decision because of healing, see? We see the memories of the past, someone from the past. Okay, writer card energy, guarding card energy, and love. We see there's love here, but there is concern about is there other people involved? Or it could be family or friends, something to do with these other people here that's really making you question whether or not you wanna move forward with this connection. So I feel like for some of you, you're, re you're, you're about to reconcile with somebody you've dealt with before, okay, in a relationship. And for others of you, you're concerned about getting into this new situation because you don't know where you really stand with this person. And you, you may have had a lot of bad experience where somebody wasn't committed to you in the past or really hurt you in that area. And so you're having concern with this person if they're really being honest with you when it comes to love or if they have other options and choices here with that Four of Cups energy you can talk about more than one choice or option when it comes to love. So, and you guys are still stressing because you're still healing from a past situation which had caused challenges for you. Because obviously the Six of Cups was part of the block chalets and challenges. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses, I love you guys so much. Obviously this does feel like a little bit of a cliffhanger here because <clears throat> There's still more things to develop around this situation. So the monthlies are coming out tomorrow. So you guys can go check that out, um, which will cover love, career and finance, and health and wellness. I love you guys so much. And I do love to hear from you guys in the comments below if you feel comfortable. I do read all my comments. I just don't always respond to everyone. It's difficult. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys soon.